So here we are on the, the, what is it today, the 17th of December, I think, and uh, we've actually only got about, realistically, six more weeks for this to look like a finished product. And um, I can see it happening. It might be hard for anyone who's not in the construction industry to actually see that it's getting there, but it really is. And a lot of the bones of the project are already uh, up and running. We pretty much got sold the energy efficiency model. We got sold a building that was good on its energy efficiency and that wasn't the primary goal of what we were looking for. We were more so focused in on our staff and our people and looking at, at buildings that provided the right indoor environment quality. And we were really particular about what we were looking for. We wanted access to fresh air, we wanted access to daylight. We wanted access to an open plan environment where all the staff could interact with each other and we felt like a team. It was a pretty amazing day when we walked into 179 Elizabeth Street and we found what we thought was the closest thing um, on the market at the time to our requirements. It was the right size. It had a balcony access so there were doors to go out and get the fresh air. Um, it was a space that we could put our own mark on. And the vision for our space was we wanted a live example, a walking through proof of what a green office was all about. We didn't want people just to read about it in a magazine or in a book. We wanted them to be able to come to the Green Building Council and walk around our office and understand what a green space was all about. It's great to come in here and see the, the raised floor. It's the, the first time I've, I've seen the raised floor in position. And uh, it looks a little rough at the moment, but that's um, for very good reason. We've actually managed to source some uh, uh, pre-used uh, raised floor tiles. And um, that just kind of adds to the whole um, story of the project. We're able to reuse, recycle, make good of things that would normally get go to waste, be thrown out. These um, tiles that you see here are going to get covered with uh, beautiful carpet from Interface Floor. And uh, underneath this whole platform, there's quite a complex um, cabling system and also a ventilation system um, using displacement air. A lot of the other work that's taking place is up in the ceiling here, all the uh, duct work. And the thing that's a bit of a challenge for all the tradesmen here is that a lot of this raw material that you're seeing up on the ceiling, uh, that's um, going to be seen by everybody coming into this space. Normally in a conventional fit out you would put in false ceilings everywhere, but again as just a, another concerted effort by us to minimise the use of materials, we're not putting false ceiling in. A lot of these services are actually going to be exposed. So. Uh, the tradesmen sometimes get a bit worried about that because normally they can kind of be pretty rough and ready about how they uh, put these things up and how the pipes go past the ducts and the wires fit in. But this time, you know, they've, they've been trying to make it a bit more aesthetically pleasing. You know, we're making um, modern sculptors of them, we think. What's going to be interesting in this project, actually, is, is putting ourselves through the very same process that everybody else needs to go through to get a Green Star rating. Uh, one thing we really hope this will do is inform the process. Um, uh, we feel there's a lot that we can learn by actually going through the process as, as an applicant rather than as the GBCA, and, uh, and this is an excellent opportunity to do that. Now, what that also means is, uh, well, you know, it's a, it's a big question mark whether we'll actually achieve our Green Star rating. And so uh, we're going to put ourselves through the same process and, uh, and we're hoping for the best. And um, it'll be the same uh, group of assessors that assesses everyone else's project that will assess ours. So we can imagine that they're going to go pretty tough on us, but um, that remains to be seen.